and compete together. You know, in talking with uh, Landon Bussey in the pregame, and just being around him and talking to him, this guy is very rarely discouraged. He says he is not going to be discouraged no matter what. He's going to be encouraged and stay positive. He's going to keep fighting, keep battling with his team to try to figure this thing out. The last couple of years has been great. We've been playing from the front. We're playing from behind in terms of the standings and just really our play, just trying to be tough, tougher. And we're going to need to be that here in the last three and a half if we're going to win this. Endo with his 20th point tonight. 68 to 56. Three and a half left here in the second half. Grambling with the basketball. Quick passing, Dozier. Skip pass, Moten. Moten crosses half court. Bounce pass, Mumford. Moten out top, 18 to shoot. Mumford right wing. Moten out top, 13 to shoot. Here's Mumford with 12 to shoot. In the corner, here's a step back three. Got it again. Lewis with 16. Four triples. I mean, Gramlin not settling for using clock. Lewis for Gramlin. They're winning this three-point this three game. They have nine triples. The Braves with just two, plus 21 from the three-point line. Here's Benet, hard fought work, and he's fouled with 14 to shoot. 2.48 remaining. Lewis with a second. 71 to 56. Grambling 9 of 15 from beyond the arc. The Braves 2 of 11. Benet at the line. 2.48 remaining. First is up. No. Well, the Braves tore Grambling's heart out last year with a win at Grambling, and that gave the Braves the number one seed going into last year's tournament. Well, Grambling getting it done tonight. 71 to 57 with the free throw with 247 remaining. Mumford, skip pass, Dozier. Dozier fronted by Benet. 20 to shoot. On the double. With it for Grambling is John Smith inside and a travel call inside on Mumford. Two and a half minutes left. The Braves will bring scoring in with Gambrel, Gaines, Wyatt, Kendall, Hawkins, and Bayard. Thorne, Anderson, Byron Joshua, Peugeot will check out for Alcorn. Braves have six players on the floor, I believe. One, two, three, okay. Now Benet checks out. Two and a half to play, 14-point lead. Benet rolls it. James Wyatt picks it up now. Off a high screen, James Wyatt in traffic. Finger rolls, good. James Wyatt with 11. 12-point lead with two and a half to play. 71 to 59, so he can get a stop here. Dozier, Moten throws it over the top, gets it to Lewis. 2.14 to play, 12 point game, 71 to 59. Landon Bussey says, let's D up. Moten, fronted by Gambrel. Well, the Braves are continuing to press and really try hard, but it's Grambling just executing. A give and go inside and a foul called on Smith with 159 remaining. And that is the 16 foul on Alcorn. And Jordan Smith, 17. And Dozier with 15, 17 for Smith, 13 for Moten, 16 for Lewis. Four players in double figures for Gramlin. Free throws by Smith. First is up, got it. 18 for Smith. Bah, bah. Second free throw coming up. This Grambling team shooting pretty good from the line. They're 70% from the charity stripe. The second free throw is good. 73 to 59. A week ago, Grambling was hammered at home by a UAPB, and a week later, from New Jersey, flew to New Orleans, busted here. They have a 14-point lead here. Gamble for a three to answer. Yes! Timeout. 
Well, Jeremiah Gamble could have brought down Rain. Well, 141 remaining. 73-62. Grambling. We'll take a 30-second timeout. Quick break. We'll be right back in 30 seconds. 141 left. Grambling by 11. This is Blaze Basketball. Just a trim. I usually use the number two. Oh, I'm thinking one, 20. 120. Over 80. That is not the number I need. Oh, without knowing your blood pressure numbers, you don't know if you're at risk of heart attack, hypertension. The only hypertension I'm getting from not getting my hair cut. You can even check your numbers right here. Okay, I'll check them. What's your number? Oh, you wish you had my number. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll check right after you trip me up. The Jackson Heart Study. The future of health starts here. Visit jacksonheartstudy.org. 141 remaining. 73-62. I thought Gramlin would come in here worn out. You lose a, a bad loss at home. I think on Wednesday they flew to New Jersey. They beat Jackson. They flew from, I guess, from Newark to New Orleans. Busted here. And I thought maybe we'd have the energy to maybe wear them out a little bit. But Grambling looks fresh. The Braves, we've got to get something from Byron Joshua. Two games in a row that Joshua has not. And now we're running the ball is Dozier with 140 remaining. And the Braves will get the basketball. See if the Braves can get something with this possession. Down 11 with 140 remaining. Bayard in, Kendall in, Gamble in. Jalen Hawkins in, Gaines Wyatt in, offense, defense, substitution. Orlando Buss has said at the beginning of the year this is deepest team. He can do five in. Brace far sideline. Hawkins, Gaines Wyatt. Brace can't waste a lot of time here. Gaines Wyatt, Hawkins right wing. Gaines Wyatt out top. Looking for Kendall. Hawkins right wing. Gaines Wyatt left wing in the corner. Jeremiah Gamble jump pass inside and Byard lays it in. And it's a nine-point game, 122 remaining. Grambling gets it out ahead, two on one, and reverse layup is good. Lewis with 18. Well, they didn't waste time. 75-64, here's Gamble, fouled. The hack, he gets two free throws. Landon Bussey thought it was a three, but it's a two. Both officials confer, they point the two-point field goal attempt, so a couple of free throws coming up here for Gamble. 11 point lead with 109 remaining. Well, I mean, Braves are still pushing. And Landon Bussey continues to push the buttons. Joe will check in. There's Gamble at the line. First is up, no. That didn't help. Willie Anderson will stay at the scorer's table. Second free throw coming up. At best, could be a 10 point game with 109 left. 75 to 64, Grambling. Second free throw coming. And this one is good, 10 point game. Jeremiah Gamble with 10. 10 point game, 75, 65, 109 remaining. For Grambling, Moten, Rob the Dozier, and they get it out to Lewis. A minute left, 10 point game, and Grambling will spread the floor. And now, Dozier in the corner, here's another three, and no good. Ball back tapped in the corner, saved. And the Braves, Benet with it, lost it to Anderson. 45 seconds left. Byron Joshua's got an attack here. Thorne, the extra pass, Anderson. Driving is floater, no. Out of bounds, it'll remain Braves ball with 36.9 remaining. Jalen Hawkins will check in as a part of the five with games Wyatt, Benet, Kendall, and Gambrel. 36.9 remaining, 10 point lead. James Wyatt, baseline left. James Wyatt gets it into Hawkins, and the Benet, and he's cussing home. Benet makes it an eight-point game with 33 seconds left. There's a lob to Lewis. 
Lob, Moten foul, got a foul now with 30 seconds left. Eight point lead. James Wyatt with the foul. Shot clock off, 29.9 remaining. The Braves with 16 fouls. And Landon Bussy making substitutions. Pajud in, Joshua in. Seventy-five, sixty-seven. Mumford for inbound. Twenty-nine seconds left. Well, Landon Bussey says he's never going to quit, never going to stop coaching hard. Going to continue to push. Mumford is right in front of us. Mumford. Mumford gets it into Moten. Moten to Dozier. Ray's got a foul. Dozier, Moten. 18 seconds left. The Braves don't foul. And now a foul. I think they should have probably just fouled immediately once they got it in. Foul on Thorne. Thorne with his first. 14.6 remaining. 75-67. Gramlin. Free throws coming up for Jordan Smith. 14.6 remaining. First free throw is up, and it's good. Smith with 20. Second coming up. Second's on the way, and that rattles out. Loose ball, Bramling's Moten on the miss. 10 seconds left. Moten dribbling. Moten finally fouled by Gambro with 5.3 remaining. So the Braves will fall to 4 and 5. And now we got to keep an eye on. Prairie View in their game, as well as Alabama AM in their game. Free throw by Moten makes it 77 67. Five seconds left. Kendall on the outlet. Kendall will pull up from 18, partially blocked, and that'll do it. Grambling wins 78 to 67. Putting the Braves in the standings at four and five. This time last week, an exciting win in Daytona. And the Braves come home and drop two. And they're four.